I am Molly Engelhart, and I have been breastfeeding for almost 10 years. I had my first son in 2014 in December, and we are in 2024, and so uh, in December, I will be have breastfed for 10 years, almost consecutively. I had a month off between uh, my fourth and my third and my fourth. Um, and I just want to talk a little bit about breastfeeding. Like, why do we breastfeed? Why is it so important? Because it's literally a labor of love. Like, I'm over it. Um, my body's touched out. I just am like, I, I got it. I'm done. But what we're providing for our children by breastfeeding is so huge. It's so much bigger than anything else, uh, almost, that we can do for them. We're setting up the microbiology in their gut to be successful for the rest of their life. And that is an incredibly profound gift that we are giving them by breastfeeding for an extended period of time, at least a year, I think, is a minimum that people should be breastfeeding. Um, and I don't wanna should anybody, and I'm sure people are gonna be upset about me saying that, but it's the greatest gift that we can do. And cholesterol, the body needs cholesterol. Young men need to breastfeed even more than young women because they have to create almost the same amount of testosterone in the first six months of life as a grown man has to create. And that creates the brain connections that have their body have the correct signals when it comes to puberty and um, in adolescence. And so it's so important that they get the right amount of cholesterol and breast milk has the right amount of cholesterol. It's also the microbiology that sets up the foundation for all other microbiology to come in and, and creates the homes almost for that. And I mean, I think we've all been there where we're tired and we're done, but I think we have to start to train women at a young age. I for sure was not trained in this way to understand the sacrifices of motherhood, to understand it's not, the, the, the chance should not be my body, my choice, because it's like the opposite of motherhood. And no matter what people decide on that issue, when you do become a mother, that should not be what's in your mind, because my body is not my choice. My body is my husband's, my body is my kids, my body is, uh, it is part of the commons. I, it, before 6 a.m., I could have made love with my husband. I could have breastfed my baby. I could have wiped a butt of another child. I could have changed a diaper, and I haven't even got my coffee. Like, my body, my choice is let me get the coffee first. <laughs> but that's not what motherhood is. And so I really want to lean into training my daughter to, like, understand the unchosen roles of motherhood and the unchosen roles of womanhood and how important that is. And foundationally, it is the building blocks for everything else. And it's transformative to become a mother. I waited till I was much later in life. I don't, for those that you know me, might not know me. I was 37 when I had my first child. And so, and I'm 46 right now. I've had four children and we adopted one, but four children in that um, time space. So I've been always a geriatric pregnancy. And there was a chance that I could have missed the opportunity of being a mother. And it is the greatest joy that my life has to offer. Um, but on a purely like scientific and situation, breastfeeding, vaginal birth, breastfeeding, and getting exposed to nature are like the elements for creating a child that has a healthy immune system. And you know, I'm not big on the Jabberwockies, but other than that, I think that the best, best, best things that we can do is vaginal birth, breastfeed, play outside, get dirty, be in nature. And I've seen studies that even when you're supplementing your breast milk with formula, the formula has the wrong things to create the right microbiology. So you're having overgrowth happening in the 
gut of the baby from the corn syrup, from the milk solids, from all these things that are not uh, what's in breast milk. And so it's really important that babies get exclusively breast milk for as long as possible. I, I do six months exclusively breast milk, nothing else. Um, and so I think th that's really, really important. And then the vaginal birth thing, I, I mean, the design of the human being is divine. And so the baby comes out through the birth canal and licks like, you know, their face, their eyes, everything is squished through with their face down. So they're getting all of the vaginal microbiology and then they're passing over the anus on their way out. Um, and so they're getting a foundational microbiology of the mother rather than a foundational microbiology of a sterile operating room. And that sterile operating room does have some microbiology in it, but it's microbiology that can survive all the crazy, um, everything they put in there for cleaning products and everything. And we have an epidemic of this industrial microbiome because we're disconnected from nature and we're disconnected from all of it. And, and being connected to your mother and breastfeeding is a natural progression of coming out of her. And so if you have a C-section baby and my best friend had a C-section baby, it's even more important to breastfeed for a longer period of time. And I know midwives that recommend inoculating your baby with your parts down there, like eyes, mouth, nose, inoculating if it comes out through the um, belly um, through a cut in the belly so that it can get that proper foundational uh, microbiology to start them off in the right direction. Um, I wouldn't have trade, I wouldn't trade bre breastfeeding for 10 years for anything. If I get pregnant again, I haven't got my fertility back. It takes about 18 months for me after breastfeeding. I, I will have another baby. I'm 46, so I'll be 48. Watch me be 50 years old and breastfeeding, like who knows? Um, I'm committed to giving this gift to my children. And I just wanna encourage women out there, your body is divine. You are 100% capable of breastfeeding your children. And don't listen to anybody that says that you can't. Don't listen to your mother, to your doctor, to anybody. You are capable. Your body is perfect. And your body wants to feed your child. And I wanna say I'm so grateful. Dr. K was my pediatrician in Los Angeles when I lived there. And I had a time where my best friend uh, had her double bilateral mastectomy and we had a big festival that weekend. I got super dehydrated. I was super sick and I had no milk. My milk just went away and I had no milk and the baby was fussing and crying and there was no milk. and. I was a first time mom and I was afraid and I didn't know what to do. And I even went to the store and bought the formula and I called Dr. K and he said, no, do not do that. I want you to go home, take off of work for a couple of days, drink water, eat enough calories and let the baby be frustrated on your boob. Let the baby be frustrated and crying and let your body understand what needs to happen. And I did, I went home, I spent two days in bed with a screaming baby crying on the boob. And you know what? My milk came back and I never had to feed him any formula. And I think that that is an extraordinary doctor giving extraordinary advice to preserve that bond, that microbiology and that baby's health for the future. And so thank you, Dr. K for that. And I never fed, my, none of my kids ever used a bottle. I never ever gave any of my kids a bottle. I never gave any of my kids formula. And um, I think that that's really important because it's trusting the divine. It's trusting that my body is divine and is capable of feeding the child that came out of it. And we don't go out to the pigs or the cows and think, oh my goodness, you know what? We should bottle feed this baby because their milk is not perfect. Your milk is perfect and there is nothing, 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 nothing in the world that is more perfect for your child than your breast milk. And so I just wanna encourage women to breastfeed their children, not be tricked into the idea that they can't and trust their body and trust the baby 
and trust the process.